What's up everybody and welcome back. So today I have another very unique and very interesting manga that I just found and I am loving it so far. So today I'm recommending my ex-wife is young again and she's in my class. And I know that's a very unique and a very strange title, but hear me out because this is definitely worth it. So this is being written by Nekomata Nuko and it's only three chapters so far. So it's still really early on and it's a comedy romance school life shown in slice of life so all the good stuff all the good genres that you would want in a romance which yes this is a romance as you could probably tell by the title which should also give away that this is a very unique and a very interesting romance so the mc is kohi kurose and the fmc is yuzuka koikawa originally yuzuka kurose because they were married so what this story is about is about exes kind of i'm not 100 percent sure if they're actually exes because the manga starts out where they're arguing and they're talking about how they're gonna get divorced. I don't know if they already filed the paperwork. I don't know if they already made the motion to start the divorce proceedings. I don't know but they're gonna get divorced and they're happy that they're gonna get divorced because they both don't like each other. At least they say that they don't like each other because as they're walking away from each other Yuzuka goes to cross the street and she stops and she stops because Kohi is like until next time like they're gonna meet again they'll be together again kind of and this distracts her enough to turn around and be like wait what did you say and of course here comes a car to you know kill her as soon as something good happens except kohi intervenes he dives in to try and save yuzuka does it work i don't know because he then wakes up in his bedroom as a high school student again did they die and then go back in time maybe are they both in comas and they're like having a shared coma possibly i'm not 100 percent sure we never see what happens with the car all we know is that they time slip to the past so now he's in his high school body again and he gets to do high school college all of that over again and his intention is not to be with yuzuka this time that's his whole plan his whole plan is i'm gonna relive this portion of my life not get with yuzuka so that we don't have a bad marriage and i'm gonna find somebody else to get married to fall in love with you know so that i can have a good life going forward that isn't always arguing and isn't being with someone that hates me. So he goes through the usual tropes of he doesn't at first realize that he's back in time until he sees his sister and he's like, you're a child when you're supposed to be an adult, all of that usual stuff. Now, the one thing that he does do though is the first thing that he asks his sister about is Yuzuka, which obviously to me means that he has feelings for his quote unquote ex-wife. He might not want to admit that because there are frustrations between them but after being married for so long which i'm not 100 percent sure how long they were married for and i think technically they are at least they were still married there's a fondness and a closeness between them so when he shows up to school obviously yuzuka is in the same class as him and he's like okay with full intentions i'm not gonna get involved with her she goes up to introduce herself because this is first day introductions and she introduces herself as yuzuka kurose not yuzuka koikawa which obviously means means that she also has her memories from the future like he does but he tries to play it off right he tries to play it dumb like oh that was a weird slip because i introduced myself before her she was nervous she introduced herself at least that's how everybody interpreted it except for him he was like oh no she must have her memories also so i have to pretend that i don't have any memories and of course you know they meet up by mistake except yuzuka purposefully tries to meet up with him because she She's trying to figure out whether or not he has his memories and he's trying to hide them. Fortunately, this isn't a part of the story that actually continues on or lingers on because that would have been annoying to me, right? We're three chapters in. I wouldn't have wanted to keep going if he kept pretending that he didn't have his memories and she did. Why? Because that would have ruined the story and that would have been just silly to me. But she figures out that he has his memories because, I mean, he kind of makes it obvious because he saves her life 
from some lightning strike that was gonna strike the place that she was sitting. He saves her and she's like, hey, you have your memories, don't you? And obviously they start arguing from it because he's like, yeah, I do, but I don't want to deal with you, yada, yada, yada. And she's like, well, I don't want to deal with you either, blah, 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 blah. But it's clear that she still has feelings for him. He still has feelings for her. Even if they're being blocked by both of their stubbornness, they still have feelings for each other. Because when you see them interact, which obviously they do all the time, there's like perfect synergy between them. Because not only were they married for so long, but they had dated, right? They had grown to know each other. They enjoyed the same hobbies. They liked the same things. And that hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is technically their marital status because they're not married anymore. Technically their relationship status because they're not dating or together at all anymore. And really just their age. But their relationship between them hasn't changed. Do they bicker? Yes. But do they have moments where they're like, oh my gosh, this girl, this guy, right? They have that lingering sensation for each other in their hearts. And it is fantastic because really, and this is why I'm glad, like I said, that he didn't continue on pretending to not have his memories because it's obvious what her intent is and what his misguided attempt at this new future is. Her attempt isn't necessarily, well, in part it probably is to get back together, but it isn't necessarily that. I think it's really to heal their relationship between each other in the hopes of getting back together, but really just to be able to have a good cohesive relationship with each other that's more than just the bickering and arguing that it became to be. And really what I think we're going to find out is that it became that way because they were both burdened and weighed down by life and doing things that they really don't want to do. What I mean by that is you see that Kohi has a passion for art, illustration, anime, manga, but he never pursued that in the future. Instead, he was just a regular nine to five or whatever it is in Japan salary man who was obviously doing something that he didn't like. He didn't love. He was frustrated by his life. And then that just carried over into his relationship and the little annoyances that he then took it out on. And obviously they both did that to each other. So that's why I'm saying I think Yuzuka sees this as an opportunity to move on past those things while Kohi, who hasn't taken true advantage of it yet, is going to pursue those passionate things that he actually enjoys to have a future that he actually wants and realize that he wants Yuzuka in that future with his other passions because they bond over those things, right? Yuzuka was going to join the literature club or something because she likes books. I don't, I don't remember what club it was, but decides to join the manga club, not just because Kohi is in there, because yes, she joined it because he's in there and because she is still like, that's my man's. And she doesn't want him alone with the female senpai. So yeah, partly she joins because of that, but partly she joins because it's one of her passions too. So what this manga seems to really going to be about is these two people discovering and following and taking the chance on their dreams and their passions when they didn't do it before. And then realizing that a great part of that and the part that they want to express it with the most is each other. And that's fantastic. I think this is a fantastic manga so far. I really really like it. I think it's unique because yeah, we've gotten back in time things before where one person has their memories and they change their life, blah, 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 blah. But this story is two people going back in time, not just changing their lives, but bolstering, fixing, and making their relationship better, which I am all here for, especially because they get to do it all over again. They could, they could start dating from high school through to college, through to their actual adult again lives, right? They get eight more years to work on their relationship. Who wouldn't take Take that chance with someone that they love. So if this seems interesting to you, which it is definitely to me, go and check it out because it's fantastic. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the other why you shoulds in the playlist down below, check out the Tutaku podcast. Other than that, I will see all of you in the next one.